Hey guys, so this is my in conclusion video, basically for the entire year. There's a lot to go over, so stay with me. First order of business is the top five books, YA books of 2011. This is nothing official, I just asked you guys to vote, and you did, so there are five places. Actually there are a lot of ties. There's actually 12 winners, but you know, there's ties. In fifth place, it's a tie between Enclave by Anne Aguirre and Clarity by Kim Harrington. In fourth place, we have a five-way tie, The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, The Power of Six by Pitticus Lore, Angel, a Maximum Ride novel by James Patterson, and Plague by Michael Grant. So that's fourth place. In third place, we have a two-way tie. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and Across the Universe by Beth Revis. In second place, Standing Alone, You Almost Made It, Percy, The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. Why didn't more people not vote for this? In first place, we have a two-way tie, and I think you all pretty much know what it is because you all voted for the same two. You guys are such cheaters. You all voted for more than one. Like, you gave me big long lists. <sighs> In first place, it's a tie between The Death Cure by James Dashner. And drumroll, please. Do not hear drumroll. Divergent by Veronica Roth. It is quite popular within the community of you guys. So those are the winners. Every vote counted. I went through all the comments, did little tallies. So those are the top five, or twelve. So I'm gonna make this next part quick. I'm going to go through all the books that I read in 2011. Here's the list. There's 27. There's not that many because I didn't really get started into reading until about August. That's when I started doing like four a month. So the first one I read this year was Hunger by Michael Grant, the second book in the Gone series. Then in between that I read No Second Chance by Harlan Coben. I had to read this for a book report in school. And then it was summer. It became summer. Yeah, that's all I read in the first part of the year. I started picking up the pace a little bit. So I read the Maximum Ride series over the summer, except I had read the first one, The Angel Experiment, last year, over the summer. School's Out Forever, Saving the World in Other Extreme Sports. The Final Warning, Max, Fang, and Angel. And then, this is the first book that I reviewed on YouTube. Now You See Her by James Patterson. And Sing You Home by Jody Pico. And Awakened by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. I don't really like this series anymore. I used to read it, but I don't. And then it became this school year, and I've read 16 books this school year, so obviously I've been going pretty fast, faster than I used to. Let's make this quick. Lies by Michael Grant, The Power of Six by Pitticus Lore, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, and I was 150 pages into this when I first started book vlogging. The Scorched Trials by James Dashner, The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan, The Death Cure by James Dashner, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, First Two Books in the Witch and Wizard series by James Patterson, Witch and Wizard with Gabrielle Charbonnet, and Witch and Wizard the Gift with Ned Rust, and of course The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, Witch and Wizard The Fire by James Patterson and Jill Dembowski, The Christmas Books, Christmas Wedding by James Patterson and Richard Delalo, and Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levitin. And then it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini, and that is it. Whew. You guys probably really didn't care about that, did you? Some of the highlights for me personally this year, and they don't have to be released this year, just the ones that I read this year were probably Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports by James Patterson, third book in the Maximum Ride series, The Maze Runner Trilogy by James Dashner, hard to pick between this one and The Death Cure for my favorite, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, I liked this a lot, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, and The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. I mean, they were all 
pretty good. I think uh, the lowest was three stars, and there was just like three or two, two or three that were three stars. I think the most anticipated book for me, at least this year, was The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. I've been a Percy fan since the second grade, so I definitely look forward to these every year. So, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next year. Happy New Year, all that stuff. Okay, uh, this was a pretty awesome year. I mean, kinda. And who is with me being so excited for the readables tomorrow? If you don't know who the readables is, she's like possibly the most popular book reviewer on YouTube ever. She took the month of December off. And I'm hoping that she makes a new video tomorrow, January 1st. Cannot wait for her new videos. So I'll see you guys in the new year. I have big evil plans, too. They will be announced tomorrow. Nothing official. I just asked you. Huh? The Scorched Trials by Dan The Scorched Trials by James. City of Fa City of Fallen Angels. Do not hear drum roll. Tallies. So those are the top five. You know, it's a really good thing that I edit.